Now then you lot, my name is Nathan and welcome back to another video. Today we are going shopping. There's your train. Let's stop it. I stopped it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Look, it's going to stop now. Crackhead. Why are we sitting here? Because I like these seats. I hate them. I love these seats. Tesco. Tesco. All right, basket cam, you go. Pepper. Another pepper. Onions. Carrot. Carrots. Okay, we're going double cheese today. We're gonna go cheddar and parmesan. I've got parmesan at home. Watch this speed scanning. Fucked up. <laughs> Love. I didn't get ID to my beer. Nice. Feeling very manly. I'm gonna make this vegetable lasagna. It's gonna be super easy, super tasty, and I'm looking forward to it. Right, back home and ready to go. This dish is gonna require a lot of chopping. So it's gonna test your knife skills. And if you're not amazing at your knife skills, don't worry, you're only gonna get better over time. I suggest we just jump straight into a chopping montage. Hello, I'm Crew T. I'm just chilling. How you doing? How's your day gone? I hope it went all right. Bye bye. All right, guys, it is Monday when we're filming this and this video is gonna be uploaded tomorrow on a Tuesday because I'm too lazy. It's too late in the evening for me to cook and film and edit now. So we're probably gonna order takeaway. That's okay. This video is still going up tomorrow and that's okay. Sometimes you can get your vegetables and your meats and stuff prepped ahead of time and tomorrow, this is gonna take me less time to cook. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, actually, for me it's tomorrow, but for you it's the same video. All right, here's the future Nathan. All right, it's future Nathan here. Uh, day two, I just wanna let you know this lasagna doesn't take two days to make. I just got lazy and I wanted to order a takeaway last night. That's the honest truth. All right, we're gonna get straight on with this now and we're just gonna make that beautiful vegetable ragu. Something I didn't do yesterday was chop my garlic because I wanted to do it fresh today. That's just four whole cloves of garlic, finely chopped. The first thing we're gonna do is get our pan, a couple of tablespoons of oil, get that nice and hot, and we're gonna to start to saute the onions. Saute them for around three to four minutes until they start to come a little bit translucent, and then we're gonna add the carrots in. We're gonna add the carrots in a bit earlier than all the other vegetables because they're the hardiest vegetable and they need to cook for longer. And then we're gonna add the minced garlic in. Again, carry on sauteing for a little bit until it's a bit more cooked, and then we're gonna deglaze the pan with some red wine. If you don't drink alcohol, no problem, just skip this step. All right, so we're now gonna reduce that red wine until there's not much of the liquid left. And basically the flavor from the red wine we've now incorporated with the onions and the garlic, just so it incorporates into the flavor of this base. Once that's reduced, we're then gonna add two tablespoons of tomato puree and our seasoning. The seasoning includes smoked paprika, a little bit of cumin, some oregano, salt, and pepper. Add a knob of butter to loosen it all up. We're gonna cook that seasoning down with the tomato puree for a few minutes to cook any bitterness out. Then we're gonna add the courgettes and the peppers. All right, so I've been cooking that for around 10 to 15 minutes now on a low heat, and the salt has brought out the moisture in the vegetables and it's reduced in size. So I'm gonna add a tin of whole plum tomatoes. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands after I put the camera back down, and I'm gonna pour the tin straight in. Obviously these are whole plum tomatoes, so they're whole. I'm gonna crush them with my hands. Yes, I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm eating the food. It's fine, don't worry. But crushing with your hands, you're just gonna get a more natural crush and I want it to blend in with the sauce and reduce because we're gonna cook this ragu now for around 30 to 40 minutes, maybe even 45, 50 minutes on a low temperature. Once I've added that tin of tomatoes in, if I need some extra liquid, I'll rinse out the tin with some water and add it back in. If I feel like I don't need any extra water, I won't. I'm then gonna add some Worcestershire sauce and a bay leaf, put a lid on, and like I said earlier, we're gonna simmer for around 30 to 40 minutes, maybe even longer on a lowest heat with a lid on.
Okay, whilst that's cooking on the side, uh, we can prepare our bechamel. I need to go get butter because I went shopping yesterday and forgot to buy butter. So let's go to Nisa. Just like to point out, it is a beautiful day. Get outside, enjoy your week, and stay hydrated, people. Don't worry, I did pay for my butter. Uh, I just don't want to film those shopkeepers all the time because I feel kind of bad. Because, you know, they're just chilling doing the job. I don't want to be pointing a camera in their face, so I did pay for it. All right, bechamel cheese sauce. First thing we're gonna do is make a roux. We've done this before. So add your butter to the pan on a medium heat until it starts bubbling. Then you're gonna add your flour and immediately start whisking. You're gonna cook this flour out for around four to five minutes on a low heat. Make sure it doesn't burn because the butter will be at a very high temperature. Once you've done that, you're then gonna add a liter of milk. Now, my milk is currently on the side right now, heating up very slowly with a bay leaf in it. Now, continuously whisking this mixture up together, it's gonna start to thicken over time. Once it's thickened, you can add as much cheese as you want. Once that's melted, season heavily with salt and pepper, and you're ready to go. All right, it's time to assemble. Dash it in the oven until it's golden brown on top, and hopefully the pasta's cooked. All right, so we're gonna let this rest now. And all that's gonna do is allow it to cool down. Allowing it to cool down will almost let the cheese sauce congeal a tiny little bit and the layers will solidify a little bit more. So hopefully when you scoop out that slice, you're gonna be able to see that layers a bit more and it's not all gonna slide about and fall off. So I'll come back to you guys once it's cooled down. All right, so I let it cool down, but I let it cool down for a very long time because I was waiting until Kruti got back from work. So we can just eat it warm together. That is a good veggie lasagna. This is so good. I'm gonna die. So like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this very informative video. If you enjoyed it, like she said, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Stay safe, stay well, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.